Hey, this is Tim here. Hope you're doing well and uh, hope you're, some of you are enjoying your lions in the morning and uh, not having to get out of bed too early. Um, and I hope you're keeping off the bloody news because uh, it's not good for you. So, um, look, uh, I'm going to start these videos on um, this these uh, practice parts, we call them. These are what I what I call my final project parts, and I have 19, 20 of them. And I'm going to go through each one, a couple, a couple of them a day. Um, but this is imp this is important. You should you if you've gone through all of my lessons previously, you should be able to do these or at least give a pretty good stab at them. Um, even I want you to take some time and give it a go and get your head around it. If 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 you're just following me the whole time, uh, what I'm actually trying to do is I'm trying to build up the muscle in your head. So when you take the SOLIDWORKS certification exam and you actually see a part that you've never seen before, you have you can rely on a method, a methodology to work through it. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. So give this part a lash before you start watching this video. Pause it or print this out and give it a go. Do your best with it. Um, and if you're running into major problems, then you watch the video with me, okay? So uh, just remember, I have um, this submission. Uh, it'll be in the description that you can go through each of these parts and and see how you get on. Um, if you can do all of these parts, um, you're going to be in very good shape for the actual exam. You want to get that piece of paper, that certification, uh, the CSWA. You can go into uh, an, an employer and say, look, I don't have a whole lot of experience, but I'm up to some level. I, I have this certification, this industry certification. It costs about $100 American money to take. Um, if you ask your instructors in your colleges at home, you ask them nicely, they might give you a voucher. Okay, don't ask me because I have enough students. So, um Let's give this one, let's give this a lash here. I'm just going to put this over here. Well, look, I have my SOLIDWORKS. I have I have a methodology um, that I like to, when I do most of my parts, I like to add as much material with extrusions as possible, add everything I possibly can add, and then I start taking it away, okay? So um, I'm going to, I, I see a box here, a rectangle, that's 25 millimeters by 15. Let's start with that. So I'm going to go new. Uh, let's hopefully this works here. I'm, you might have to change the, the millimeters. You, you, yeah, you might have to. Uh, the other thing in the exam, all the sort of the, in the SOLIDWORKS certification, it's all in millimeters. All right, so I'm going to go sketch, and it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put this in the top plane, and I'm going to get myself a center rectangle. And hopefully, uh, let's have a look and see um, what is this 25 by 15. Get my smart dimension. Fifteen. Oh, bloody hell! What's wrong with me? Twenty-five or twenty-four? Twenty-five by fifteen. And how much does it be? It needs to be extruded by six millimeters. Right. So I'll get out of the sketch. I'll go to extrude, and I'm just going to come up six mil. And I have my box. Okay. Um. Right. Let's go back. We have four fillets. Uh, now, I, I've done all the adding I can possibly add to this shape. So now I'm going to start taking some stuff away. Maybe let's let's take out this semicircle. It's eight point, this, this uh, not semicircle, this, what the hell is this called? A slot, Jesus. Excuse me. A slot, 8.5. Let's, let's, let's go here, right? Create a new sketch on the top face. We'll get a straight slot. I track the origin. Something like this. And I'm going to go from there to there. 8.5. And then the length of this 
is eight. Now, when you take the SolarWorks certification exam, um, they're not you. You're going to do it online. That's the first thing, and you can do it at home, and and you can cheat. It it honestly, it's probably if you're doing it at home, it's probably very easy to cheat, and I'm not going to tell you how. But why would you do that? Don't even go looking for a job until or trying to do work for a company until you've passed that exam because if you can snake your way into a position and they're expecting you to do very basic things and they catch you out well that's not going to be good for your reputation okay so that's kind of what i tell my students now um what is the the radius or the diameter of this semicircle it's a radius of four i hold down the right thing and look i can get my quick select radius of four it goes black and i need what what was my point what was my point of that whole spiel that i just said get used to to jumping back and forth because that's unless you have two monitors which i don't uh, i'm at home um i don't even i don't even have two monitors at work i'm just used to having one monitor i just go back and forth that's what you're going to do when you do the exam the extrusion cut is three mil okay so what I like to do when I, I like to rotate when I'm ready to extrude and I go exit features extrude cut and we're going to come down three mil and it looks happy and I go okay right I don't know if you've ever noticed this instant 3d business and this is something I just realized recently is I can click on features and it it gives me all the information that I need I don't know if you've ever realized that um, and it's quite nice when you're trying to look over students work or look over your own work right what's next I have four holes and I try to make them a little bit difficult and we added um, a draft a draft cut of a degree of five degrees all right and that's why that sh that's why it has two circles so I'm not going to use whole wizard I'm going to go sketch on this top face hit the space bar I'm going to get myself a couple of circles and I'm going to get myself a center line I use these way too much but maybe there's a I don't know somebody might have a better way I like to use center lines when I have sim symmetrical stuff going on and I'm gonna make this and this I'm holding down the control key I'm gonna make this and this and this symmetrical holding down the control key I'm gonna make this lad at this point horizontal this and this horizontal now um, let's have a look the distance from one to the other is nine and the other one is 19 that's easy I need to make this point and this point vertical and I'm gonna go from here to here hold your horses 19 right um now what size are they the outer diameter is three millimeters now i'm holding down the control key again you know what i'm doing i'm doing the i'm doing the equal relationship and i'm going to make this three millimeters with a five degree now i'm going to go okay exit out of the sketch let's rotate and see what the hell is going on i have the sketch already highlighted I go to features, extrude a cut, through all, I turn on the draft, okay, now I'm going to make this 5 degrees, it's drafting inwards, not outwards, That we don't want that, that would be the wrong direction, so I go like that, inwards, and I go okay, alright, now, what's next i got the four holes done what's the next thing let's get this uh is this a true hole i no it's not a true hole i can see it there now did i include a depth in that i did for once i have all the dimensions right i'm gonna go here 
sketch on this face. Let's try it again. Sketch on this face. I'm going to get myself a, a circle and um, diameter 4. Now, let's have a look. Is there a dimension? It's 8.5, so it's concentric with that curve there. So we'll go here to here. We'll make that concentric. And how deep does it go? Let's have a look again. It goes a total depth. Oh, it's going to make me do some mathematics. One point from from here to here is one point five. Okay, one point five, and I'll go okay. Right, that's that. What's next? Uh, another feature. It looks like we have a circle here, a small circle. And then we have a big circle. And the big circle comes up. It comes up three millimeters. Now that's a bit of a, yeah. So why don't we just draw the small circle in that goes all the way through. It's radius 1.5. I don't know where the hell that is. But anyway, look. Um, where is it? It's touching that edge. And it's is it in the center? Did I just sort of assume that? Um yeah that probably should have a dimension but it's in the center it's in the center of that arc so um, we're going to go here I'm going to draw a circle I'm going to make it is a diameter 3 let's have a look uh, radius 1.5 it's going to be a diameter of 3 exit out of this we're going to go all the way through through all and now we have that and what i think i've done is i'm going to come around from this side create a sketch on here and what diameter is it it's going to be rate it's going to be diameter five Okay, how do, I'm going fast. I know I'm going fast. Um, it's diameter five from there, and I can see it from this. I had to put this extra view in because it was kind of confusing to see what was going on. Um, okay, diameter five, and I'm going to go extrude a cut, and I'm going to go three, and go okay. So we have that feature now. Uh, I kind of go into I kind of go into to automatic pilot when I'm drawing like this stuff. I go I know I go a bit fast. Um, what's next? I have four fillets with a radius of one. I don't think there's anything else. So this this piece is it's it's a piece of cake. I could I could do it at at two o'clock in the morning with with no sleep after about three or four days. I could still do it. Um some of the problems that are come on now some of the other problems um in in the packet are are trickier now radius one um what else radius one is there anything else in it i think that's it how many features do i have one two three four five six seven seven features i right click on the material i go 1060 alloy and i go to evaluate but I'm not going to press it. That's your job. If you've gone through all of this correctly, you're going to know what the mass property is. You're looking for something that says grams. Okay. Save your work all the time. That's it. That's the first one. Piece of cake. Um, I might even do another one today. Take care um, and stay safe.